Hey, howdy, and how's it going, everybody? It has been quite some time once again since I've hopped on the wonderful world of Minecraft. And uh, I, to be honest, the main reason I hopped on, is this the right one? It has to be. Create backup, uh, that good old screen. I, I honestly wanted to get on because I, I, just, I, I have a spider story and I really just kind of want to tell it. I forgot what I was doing in this world. I know I pretty much took this guy's house and stuff. Usually when I hop on Minecraft, I won't say usually, but back in the day, uh, whenever I hopped on Minecraft, they talked about spiders a lot and it kind of stopped and oh shit. And even with that, uh, almost in a way, Minecraft sort of stopped. It wasn't intentional for that to happen the way it did. It just... I'm gonna die. It just sort of did. Mostly, I mean, spiders just stopped coming around. Like, they just, I didn't see as many. And when I did, I didn't see them for long. Or they weren't doing much whenever I did see them. Whatever it might have been. There just wasn't as much things happening. But there's been this spider. Very recently. Over the past, I'd say maybe a week or so. Um, I don't really know how long. I Guaranteed, absolute bare minimum, like, three days. Actually, probably longer. Because this is probably the same spider that I saw like maybe over two weeks ago. So we kind of go back. I remember, I'll start off when I with what I probably remember him, like first seeing him. Um, the year was 1993. I just came out of my mother's womb and there he was delivering me a granddaddy long leg. That would be terrifying. So it's a granddaddy long leg. I probably saw him at least like a week, a week and a half ago, maybe. Like, so I, I have like a full length mirror or not. It's like a very wide mirror in my bathroom. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have probably seen it. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it'd be kind of weird if you've seen it, but I'm sure there's still a chance. Maybe you've just seen pictures or I've showed it somewhere, but I'm not too sure how you would have seen it unless like you're spying on me through my window. Definitely a possibility. There is a big window in there. Anyways, in that mirror one time, I went up to it and in the top right, I noticed something. I thought it was just like one of those little eye floaties. And I noticed something. I was like, oh, holy shit. There's just a spider posted up there. At the moment, it was, just a, it was just a granddaddy long legs. I don't know what, some people call them other things. Some people just call them daddy long legs. But I feel like if I call it daddy long legs, I gotta fuck it. Regardless of what you want to call it or what you do call it though. The granddaddy, we'll call him granddad. No, does that make it weird? Because I have a granddad, believe it or not. <laughs> Shocker guys, that's actually something I've been waiting to tell you guys. I have a granddad. I see the spider top right. I see him chilling. I, he actually has a small interaction with another spider. I'm not too sure what happened. A spider that I would say body, body wise, probably around the same size as a granddaddy, but the legs were like just, it was like a normal spider, I guess is what I could have said. But as far as size, it was smaller, but... That's a good thing because if, if if you see a spider bigger than a granddaddy long leg, including its legs, what the fuck, you know, <laughs> like shit, you better be in somewhere where like you're supposed to be seeing those types of spiders. Back to my story once again, I said back to my story then I didn't even get on my story before I got sidetracked from my story and I did it one more time, but this time I'm going to do it for real. Uh, where was I at in my story? Oh God, this is cringe. Right. So I remember th this spider and another spider having a small little interaction and in this interaction, I just, it was right above my bathroom window. And in this interaction, they were just uh, walking towards each other, you know, kind of nonchalantly. One of them did seem, the smaller spider sort of like, he, he felt more antsy. I won't really say that he was like, you know, he was aggressive or anything like, have I checked this? I wouldn't say he was aggressive or anything like that, but he, he did seem more antsy. He was moving around a lot more. Um, I, you know, it seemed like he had somewhere to go. I even might have seen this spider before too. And I'm only saying that because he went like the exact path that I remember another spider going before. And I know that sounds weird, but I remember just seeing a spider one time and it just ran this like path, almost like it, it knew where it was going. Like it just took a sharp left turn. Well, I guess it was on a wall, so a sharp downturn. And, and the spider like went almost the same path and it did look similar to the spider. It passed this granddaddy long leg. I thought there might've been a battle about to happen. You know, this thing was just walking towards this granddaddy long leg. This granddaddy long leg was holding its ground. I was like, damn, what's happening around here? Cause the smaller spider was like moving around. You seem very cautious of it. Like I really thought they might've just battled right there. I, I stood there and watched. If something's gonna happen in here, I wanna see it because I'm not gonna hear a spider fight. I hope not. And if I hear a spider fight, those are some big ass spiders. And I'm not gonna go intervene because they'll probably kick my ass. Nothing happens though. That spider took that weird path that I saw before, just like I was saying. The granddaddy just sort of sat there, really. Uh, he didn't move much. But, anyways, jump to three, four days ago, maybe, and I see a granddaddy long legs in my tub. 
And I'm just like, okay, you probably just chilling down in the tub. It's whatever. I go back like a couple hours later and I see him trying to climb out of the tub. I'm just like, oh, well, that kind of sucks. Here, I'll help you out. Probably just can't quite get up. It is like a very vertical surface, kind of slippery, probably kind of tough for him to like grab onto, especially when he's so tall and like just sort of a big spider, but not also a big spider. Probably took like 10 minutes. I grabbed a piece of paper. I took him out. Um, I made that sound way easier, but like I waited. So I held the piece of paper in front of him and he kind of just looked at it. I like tried to put it under him and he freaked out and ran around away from the paper. And I tried one more time and he finally, he like, I had to sit there for a bit and I, my hand was like shaking because I was bent over holding this piece of paper and the spider just kept on testing it with one leg, maybe doing two, just seeing how it was, what was going on. And then I shake just a little too much and the spider freaked out again. He was so close to getting on it, but he was just so skittish. Like, even though I feel like I barely moved the paper, I feel like he just, he could sense something was off in the air. I don't know how, but he probably could. Maybe spiders have that sense. But eventually I get this spider um, on this piece of paper after it's been, you know, after it's skittered around out of just pure terror a couple of times, I'm guessing, or just whatever it might've been. But I get this spider on a piece of paper, I get it up, and I just set the piece of paper right outside the bathtub. I didn't want to set it like some weird spot. And then this dude ends up just lost and trying to hitchhike his way back. I was going to take him outside, but it's like, I never, who cares if a granddaddy's inside? I was just like, whatever, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, so I just set him outside my bathtub, sort of like in an area where I've seen him close to before. And I go back later. I don't see him on the paper. I'm like, cool. He's out. He's free. He's wandering around. I wonder where he got to. Let me make sure he's not back in the, t he's in the tub again. I tried the paper method again, but he was just not going for it. Like he didn't even test it this time. He just froze in terror and stood in front of it. So I had to think of a new method. Like this spider, he was very he almost was like nervous really i mean he probably was he was he's in this big old tub unable to get out it was almost kind of sad every time he got out or like got to a certain height working to get out he just like fell down and it was like such a sad thing to see which is i mean honestly the main reason i was just gonna wait to see him get out because i figured he could right it's a spider you assume that they could there's honestly probably multiple different ways a spider could get out he just, he doesn't see it from my POV. So it's a little bit, oh shit, these villagers are trying to sleep. Here, let me sleep so we can pass, so we can pass nighttime. But what I decided to try to do was something just a little bit more passive. Like, because like I said, every time I put a piece of paper near him, he just ran away. I knew nothing else was going to work. If I tried with a cup, same shit probably would have happened. So I was like, okay, maybe do this something where I maybe not necessarily have to be around. Would it be helpful? Yeah, probably a little bit type of stuff. So I found a, a little roll of toilet paper and I just like unrolled it and almost did like a rope ladder, except it was out of toilet paper. So it's a toilet paper ladder. And I hung it on like the side of the tub so it was draping into it. Toilet paper was like just more thick, easier for him to grip onto. So I figured, hey, once he would get onto that, he would realize, ooh, hello, I have good footing. This will be nice to climb up onto. And I remember watching him and he was doing laps around and that's when I like thought about it because I was like, he's got to like find a way out eventually. He has to be able to get out, right? Like there's a side of it that's more sloped than the other ones that I would assume a spider could probably walk up. I see him like sort of doing these laps trying to get up and it was like I was saying, it was just so sad seeing him fall every time. He like just, he lost his footing, I'm guessing because of weight or whatever it might've been. And so then like I put the toilet paper roll in as like the, the thing where he could maybe grab onto it. I set it down in an area that he was like going to, but he just recently fell off. So I started worrying. I'm like, damn, what if he doesn't try to go up yet? Because he just recently fell off. He doesn't want to give that another go. He like touched it a little bit and then walked right past. I was like, okay, fuck you. So then I moved it to the other spot that he's been trying multiple times before. And I think when I reached in and moved it, he felt like the air pressure change or air waves move and like froze. I like waited for like five minutes. He just stood there. And I, so I just, I left the toilet paper there, just kind of draping in so it could, he could grab it whenever he needed to, or they needed to. Sorry, I'm giving this spider. He never told me, they never told me, Jesus, their pronouns. Uh, but I'm draping this thing in for the spider and I'm just waiting for it to climb up pretty much or just move even towards it so I could see if it's going to climb up, I should say. And it just, it sits there five minutes. I don't know how long. So I just leave it there. I go away. I come back a couple hours later. Oh, <gasps> spider's gone. It's not there anymore. I think it might've gotten out. Awesome. Take the toilet paper out. I'm like, cool. I don't know where it went. I, I, 
I didn't see it anywhere around, so I have no idea. Maybe I'll stumble upon a little bit later, uh, except I thought that a little bit more clear. I usually don't stumble over my words in my head. Do I? I don't think so. Huh. Maybe that's why people say think before you speak. I had no idea if I was going to see the spider again, but I thought, hey, maybe if I see another granddaddy, I'll just assume that it's the same one. Probably what I might have been doing already. Also, I have noticed that the, the granddaddy long legs up in Washington are different than the ones in Missouri. I just I feel like the ones in Missouri just have like these round bodies and they're kind of creepier. The ones here are like very small. They look like very, very tiny dragonflies, but instead of growing wings, they they grew big legs. And then I peep in the bathtub, maybe might have been that night, might have been the next day. And I would say that this was like two days ago, maybe now at this point. But I peep in and guess who it is? Mr. Spider, he's back once again and he's trying to get out. He's in like the same area that I had the toilet paper already there. I don't know if he got out, if he got back in. He was maybe hiding in somewhere so there's a chance he can get out i still don't know 100 percent for sure but i also think i do because i've seen him pretty much do circles around that whole what is that are those goats i've seen him do circles around like that whole entire tub and just fall and today earlier um he was like limping i don't know if spiders can actually limp but it seemed like he was limping like while walking around like he just like took a tumble and then afterwards he was just like walking and limping i'm like i don't know if you're going for sympathy points or like some pity points but it's fucking working let me get you a cast so i started making some paper mache and it was really tough i've never really worked with like paper mache just in general but definitely not that small so i put a cast over the spider's leg and he seems to be a lot happier but now he's definitely weighed down and stuck in the tub even more so it's gonna be I guess sort of interesting. I don't know how I'm going to get it off. I, I've tried multiple times to get him out. I've tried the toilet paper method again and he just like touched it and then stopped going closer to it. He, I don't know. I have it in there right now. He's still just chilling. I've gone in there a couple times and it seems like he might have like gotten away. But then I look around and he's just like underneath something because I have there's like holes for jets in the tub and I'm it's just like, yeah, I don't know. But I got him on a piece of paper that clearly didn't work. The first attempt, dulled, ruined by him. He ruined it himself. He went back in. Second attempt, it just never worked. My second attempt was nothing but failures. And it sort of led in my third, fourth, fifth, etc. attempts. However you want to classify those. I still consider this the second attempt because I haven't necessarily failed as he's still alive. And I haven't like almost gotten him out of the bathtub. I've tried. But I, I think I've come to the realization that if he doesn't get out himself, then I, you know, I don't know if it's going to stay out. Because I got it out with a piece of paper, it went back in possibly that same day, you know, and I give it its toilet paper to walk up on. It feels it. It has, I, when I do, I looked and it had like six of its eight fucking legs on that thing. And I was like, yes, come on. And it just walked right past it. It went horizontal. It's like afraid to go vertical, which understandably, you know, you have fallen multiple times. So I get why you don't want to like necessarily climb directly up, but I think it might be time. Like I was actually today while in my bathtub watching this thing limp after taking a couple of tumbles, right? I was actually considering, I was like, should I maybe go find a couple gnats or something to drop in here? I was like gonna feed this fucking thing. I don't, I'm like damn near having a pet granddaddy long legs and all because this thing is just so stupid and trapped in my tub. I don't even use my tub. Maybe he wants, maybe I should turn my tub on. Maybe he wants to take a soak. Maybe that's it. I didn't even think about that. Maybe I'm an asshole for getting him out. I don't know. It's just, uh, there's just a spider stuck in my tub. He's still there. I have the anchor. I've tried the paper more and I got to a point where I put it in front of him and he just completely doesn't move. And I know what you might be thinking. Hey, nudge him with it. I nudged him and I've like tried to, he freaks the hell out. I don't know what, he turns into tumbleweed and the currents of air start to form a tornado or something like i don't know what happens but that's what he resembles in the tub whenever i just like touch him or try to try to nudge him on with a little bit of force i don't know the, the thing is a little bit crazy i guess i would be kind of crazy too if i was just trapped in a massive like white porcelain room essentially i don't i don't know what the tub's made of i didn't make it myself so I'm a fraud. The rope ladder is still there. He just has to find it and, and understand that he can climb up out of it. So I'm hoping that they discover it soon. I'm hoping that she does anything. I'm hoping that it does whatever it wants. I'm hoping that the Apache just does what it needs to do to survive, which is what we're doing here in Minecraft. Although I don't know how much Minecraft I'm really going to, I just, I mostly just wanted to share that story.
and I said, hey, what better game to share a spider story to than Minecraft? I haven't seen any spiders, and I'm only guessing that's because they're stuck in a tub somewhere as well. So, that's a bummer for them. I guess I'll have to get quite a few rolls of toilet paper. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll just, like, expunge all the toilet paper I have and just set rolls around the whole entire perimeter of my bathtub. So, if it's walk, it, like, has to get out. And if it still doesn't get out, then I just assume that it wants to be in there. All I do know is I've tried what I can. Could I force this spider out? Yeah, probably. I probably could. But do I want to? No, that's inhumane. I wish that when I like grabbed it out, it actually came out because now in my head, I've, I've like, I've convinced myself that it needs to get out itself. Otherwise it's never actually gonna like you know, it might get out, but it won't be free. You know what I mean? That's like I, why I gave it its anchor. It has to learn how to climb and how to dig deep and keep going when the go actually I w did go in there before recording and it was higher up on the wall than normal and stuck there could be making progress I when I noticed that I started walking lighter because I didn't want to cause a weird vibration and uh and possibly make him fall and I also held my breath when peeking over because I didn't want my air currents to possibly blow him off Sounded almost weird. And overall, I wish I had better news on this spider. I wish I could say the spider got rescued. It's out. And maybe for a bit it was. And maybe I'm a bad guy for not for not grabbing it back out again. For forcing it back on that piece of paper and taking it out. Maybe I am. But maybe I just want that spider to grow stronger. And not be coddled throughout his whole life. He's a granddaddy after all. If I, yeah, that's his retirement home. Maybe that's what that is. Imagine tarantula, but with the, but with like the por the proportions of a granddaddy long leg. So keep the middle of a tarantula and then scale up the legs accordingly. Imagine that thing, dude, huh? I'm sure that'd be really cute and friendly and not terrifying. But that's pretty much the story. Um, Like I said, there's no, there's no sad ending. You know, he's still in the tub. He's still alive. He's still on the, on the journey of self-growth. You know, maybe he read Siddhartha and he got, he got like inspired and he's on his own journey of self-exploration and enlightenment. I don't know. But all I can do is support him, but I can't, I can't help him. You know, I, I, I offered him help once and he said, thank you, but no thank you. So I said, hey, you're welcome, but no, you're welcome. And that was that. I'm just happy I can be helping him in his time of need. Well, I tried to help him. and it's, I, Honestly, I could regurgitate the same thing of like, you know, am I helping him? No, not really, but also yes. By being there for him, by cheering him on whenever out, whenever I go into the bathroom, saying, "Hey, give up, fucking pussy." I know he'll pull through. Maybe he won't. Maybe he'll fucking die in there. And then I guess the benefit of that is just as simple as turn on the tub for a little bit and wash him right on out. Well, maybe I'll just like get a cup of water because that'd be a lot of water to just like waste for just washing a corpse down the drain. I didn't mean to go low to sound like corpse. He just ruined all scary voices while talking about corpse. Way to go, asshole. I really don't know how much I actually am going to play Minecraft today, guys. I more so just felt like sharing the story of the spider. Because he's been trying so hard. And he literally has not gotten that far. Although to him, he's doing laps. He's probably on a pretty solid mile lap right now. But in the end, all we can do is hope that it does matter. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'll maybe have a spider update. Um, and if I don't, then just assume he's dead. Or assume he's alive. It depends if you're a pessimist or an optimist. It's up to you to decide. It's like a goosebump. Choose your own story. Anyways, I'm out of here. Say goodbye to the horses. Um, this is... I don't know their names. They're just really... I just ran across some... Peace. Peace.